contributing nearly 300 million a year to Nevada's economy. But a program protecting immigrants from Central America could soon go away, leaving a lot of families in limbo. And 13 Action News reporter Tom George sat down with one family that could face a difficult decision. Juan Padilla will tell you he's had to fight his whole life. So yo. This young face, a soldier at just 16 in El Salvador, a reminder of the life he escaped to live the American dream. Es el sueño americano. He worked at Tropicana and now the Mirage and became a citizen. But what he's most proud of? Adriana. His two grandkids. Carlito Cortez. Ask their mom, Reina, and she's quick to tell you just how well they're doing in school. A, B, A, B, los dos. Mm -hmm. But they worry change may be just around the corner. Reina is working in the U.S. under TPS, or Temporary Protected Status, allowing people from countries facing conflict or natural disasters to stay in the United States. If it goes away, Reina could face deportation to El Salvador. If she leaves with them, I'll be alone. Juan worries what would happen if his American-born grandkids had to go to El Salvador with their mom. He fears it would be even worse for them than it was for him. My grandson, he's 12. He's already old enough for the gangs to try and recruit him. My granddaughter is seven. They can get violated, beaten. And if they don't join the gangs, they'll kill them. Here in Nevada, there are 5,700 Salvadoran TPS holders, and 3,800 of their children were born in the U.S. Many work on the strip and the food industry and have been here for decades. And like Reina, they've been paying taxes. This is a great country where I've been able to do so many things. I'm so grateful for this country, and I would like to stay. But if not for her, she says, for them. At least so my kids can grow up. Wait until I'm old and can't do anything. Then whatever, then I'll go back by myself. <laughs> Tom George, 13 Action News. Now, the federal government already decided not to renew protection for people from Nicaragua. A decision on Honduras was delayed until next July, and a decision on El Salvador will come by January.